welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're adding new dolls to my collection of Miraculous Ladybug fashion dolls. So I have, take a look, I have Dragon Bug. Oh my goodness, she looks so, so cool in her Dragon Bug outfit. And look, we even have the Kwame. So here is Dragon Bug up close. As you can see, this is Marinette underneath the mask. So we have her blue hair and she's also wearing her Ladybug Miraculous. Here's the back of the head. We can see her two little pigtails. They have hairspray on them right now, so they're hard. Here is her mask. I think this looks really, really cool. I just love this mask. And here is her outfit. Isn't this neat? It's so cool. I just love the black and the white with the dots on them and a bit of gold. What's interesting is that we actually don't see her Dragon Bug Miraculous. I believe it's supposed to be a choker and I just don't see that on her. So she's not wearing any jewelry other than the earrings and so there is no choker. So I'm not sure why they left it out. Down here are her shoes. One foot is black and one foot is red. And this outfit does come off as you can see here. It does come off pretty easily. This is just a bodysuit. And she is articulated. So here in the shoulders, in the elbows, on the wrist here, it does turn. Up here on the legs, we, we do have the hip and knees, but not the ankles. Jack and Buck here comes with a little headband. So this is what you put on to complete the outfit. I don't think it's as cool as having it built in like Cat Noir. As you can see here, Cat Noir's ears are built in, but he does have molded hair. So Dragon Bug here with her brush bowl hair, we decided to do a headband instead of having it molded in. And they have made the band purple instead of dark blue. I think it would have been better if it was dark blue so it blends in with the hair a little bit more. So here she is kind of with a full outfit. I think it looks pretty good. And of course, here's the Kwame. We have Long. Long is a red Kwame. Lots of spikes all over the head and even a spiky tail. He actually looks pretty cute. So here is Dragon Bug and her Kwame. One thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is that these dolls do not come with the weapon. So Dragon Bug here has a long sword, a beautiful long sword as her weapon, and this is not included. So I'm not sure how we're supposed to get that for this doll. Hopefully in future sets, the dolls will come with their weapons. Take one of these Marinette Rina Rouge dolls, we could transform her into Dragon Bug and we can give her a removable mask. So let's go ahead and start with the red. I'm going to mark the sections here that divides the red and the black. These dolls are pretty good for customizing because they don't have a lot of articulation. So we don't have a lot of joints to color. Right, so let's go ahead and just color her in. This paint marker seems to do pretty well. Let's go ahead and do the back. All right, and the red on the back is done. Also do the arms here. Okay, so this black on the arm is very, very dark. So I'm going to see if I can remove it with some acetone first. Oh, we can, and it's orange underneath. Okay, so we're going to take off some of this black here with acetone before we paint over it again with red. And also the leg over here. Okay, so here's what she looks like afterwards. I left a little bit of black here because her hand's going to be black. And also one of her feet is still black because it's going to be black over here. And next time, remind me to wear some gloves before I start doing this because I made a mess of my hands and nails. But let's go ahead and continue. Let's keep coloring here. The nice thing about the paint pens is that it dries very fast. So it's pretty easy to just come back in and give it a second coat. This white is actually made of a different material so it does not come off with acetone. Otherwise, I think it might be a good idea to also remove the white part since 
it does kind of stand out underneath. Alright, so the red is done and it is looking really good. Let's go ahead and move on to the black. Once the black is done, now we can add in the gold edges. Alright, so the gold section is done. Now we have to work on the spots. So Dragon Bug has a few spots on her outfit. Instead of coloring over the paint, I'm going to use some acetone and take off the paint first. This will make it easier for the new colors to show. Now that we have the paint removed, let's go ahead and fill in the circles with gold. Next, over the gold, we're going to layer in the red dots. And on the other side, we're going to layer in black dots. Next, we need to modify the mask. So I'm going to be using a bit of Sugru. This is a moldable glue. And you can also paint over it. So you don't get a whole lot in each pack, but we don't need a lot. And this has the same texture as clay. So we are going to mold the mask to look like this. Right now, we only have the top part. And all we have to do is add a little bit of a triangle down here. So I'm just attaching a little piece of the glue and I'm going to blend it in as much as I can so that it's smooth. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Next, we're going to take some wire and we're going to shape it into a headband. And slice it for Marinette's head. And cut it to create a little headband like this. First, we're going to cover the wire with some Sugru. Now we're going to cut out the little side pieces. I'm going to stick the side pieces to the headband. Alright, so once the headband has been assembled, I'm going to wait about 12 hours for it to set. Using a little bit more Sugru, let's roll a ball and, and make Ladybug's yo-yo. So it's been 12 hours and our Sugru is cured. And the great thing about Sugru is that it's flexible after it's cured. So unlike clay, which will crack and break if you bend them, Sugru is flexible. So this is perfect for something like a headband. So let's go ahead and paint them. And finally, let's paint the yo-yo. All right, everyone, and we are finally done. Are you ready for the reveal? So here she is. Here is Dragon Bug. What do you think? Oh my goodness, I think she turned out amazing. I really love these paint markers because it has her looking so shiny, looking just like one of the regular dolls. So here is a better look at her outfit here. Down to your feet. I just love this costume. And I also love these little swirls that goes up and down her legs and arms. But we are not done. She is not complete without her mask. Look at this mask. So cute. So here, let's put it on. There's Marinette with her dragon bug mask. And of course, we also have her little uh, headband here. So I painted the top part of the headband blue to match her hair. Okay, and here it is on her head. It's making her hair stick out a little bit. <laughs> we can adjust this a little bit since the Sugru is flexible. And of course, we also have the yo-yo. So we can have her hold it in her hand like this. And today we're going to be making a new Miraculous Ladybug custom. I have a Ladybug action figure here and we are going to turn her into Dragon Bug. Let's get started. Let's start by taking Ladybug out of her box. Next, using some acetone, we're going to remove the spots on her body. Let's start first by taking off Ladybug's head. This will give us more room to work. Next. Taking the gold pen, we're going to draw a large backwards S shape down her body. 
and also on her back. Now we will draw in the rest of the gold lines on both her legs. These are like thin ribbons that wrap around her legs. After the initial line, we can go in and make the line thicker. We also do the same with the arms and draw in the gold lines. Next, using black, we're going to fill in the right side of the gold line with black. We're going to overlap a little bit over the gold so that you don't see any red between the gold and the black. We'll paint the upper arms black. On her forearms, we'll add a black line next to the gold, leaving a bit of red. The same with the legs. The thighs will be all black. Then on the calves, we'll add a thinner black line next to the gold. And we will do this on the other leg also. Here we'll do the same to the forearms on her left side. Next, we'll take the red pen and repaint the red. We're going to paint over a little bit of the gold so that there is only a thin strip of gold left next to the black. This red is slightly different from Ladybug's original red, so we will have to do the entire body for it to look uniform. Next, taking our gold pen again, we're going to add large round dots all over. Her torso, arms, back, and thighs. On the right side, we'll fill in the gold circles with red. We'll leave just a little bit of gold along the edges. On the right side, we'll fill in the gold circle with black. Here on the big circle on her chest, we're going to add three dots. Then using a toothpick, we're going to drag out a little tail on all three. Now for the mask. Taking black, we're going to add a little triangle to the bottom of the mask on each side of her face. Then we'll line the inside with gold. Next, taking a flat piece of clay, we're going to cut out a little piece that goes over her ears. I'm not really sure what they are, maybe they are dragon scales or maybe they are horns. What do you think? After the clay is dry, we'll paint them gold, red, and black. Using more clay, we'll also make her sword. Alright everyone, and we are done. So here is my dragon bug. What do you think? I think she turned out fantastic. I just love the red, black, and gold mix of colors. It looks so, so awesome. Just take a look. On this side is red with black dots and black stripes. And on the other side, she is black with red dots and red stripes. 
So here is a close-up of her face. As you can see, we modified her mask so that it has a little bit of black and gold coming down her cheeks. And we also added these little pieces of, I guess, flames or maybe dragon scales on the sides of her head. Here's an up-close look of her body. I just love the little gold designs between the red and the black. And we also added her yo-yo and her dragon sword. So this is super cool. This is such a neat weapon. We're going to be making a new Kwame. We're going to make Long, who is the dragon Kwame. I thought for this custom, instead of using Adela's pet shop, I thought it would be really cute to use one of these sea ponies. So this is Jelly Bee from My Little Pony. And I just want to customize her into a little Kwame. I think she's going to turn out great. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box. As you can see here, she comes with two little friends, a little starfish and a little dolphin. And she comes with a little shell too. So here she is. As you can see right now, she only has two legs in the front. We're going to need to add two more legs down here on the bottom. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is remove the mane on top of the head. Kwamis do not have any hair on top of their heads. Over here on the front, we will need to trim back the fins. Using an X-Acto knife, we're going to carefully shave off the mane. If you're doing this at home, make sure to get some help. Remember to always cut away from yourself and downwards if you can. After the mane is off, we're going to shave it as close to the scalp as possible. Over here on the side of the head, we're also going to shave a bit of the fins so that they're more narrow and pointy. It will become one set of horns on Long's head. Next, we're going to shave the fins off the front legs. Okay, and we're done. We've removed everything we need from the sea pony. Now, since sea ponies have only one set of legs, we need to add a second pair of legs. Using a tiny bit of air dry clay, I made two tiny logs, and we will glue them to the bottom of the sea pony. We're also going to add a tiny bit of clay behind the legs so that it looks like it's part of the body and not just sticking out. Next, let's make some horns. I'm going to use some air dry clay for this. Rolling them into small tapered logs, we're going to cut out two long horns. And then we'll cut out four shorter horns. Once the horns are dried, we're going to paint them red. Since the horns are so tiny, I'm going to just roll them around a drop of paint. Next, we're going to paint the entire Kwame red. After the paint dries, we will add four drops of glue to the top of the head and attach the short horns. We we'll also paint the horns on the side of the head a dark red. Taking the longer horns, we're going to paint a dark red spiral around it. Then we'll attach one to each side of the head near the back. Next, we'll paint the eyes a light yellow color. Around it, we'll line it using black. Then add orange irises black pupils, and two white dots. Alright everyone, and we are done! Take a look at Long! Oh my goodness, he turned out so cute! He turned out much cuter than I thought he would. I was a little bit nervous at first that he wouldn't look right, but after we painted him, he looked so good. Here's an up-close look. Long is a completely red Kwame. He has orange and yellow eyes, and he has these spikes on top of his head. He has four short spikes and four long ones. Down here, since this was a sea pony and only had two legs, we added two more legs down on the bottom. And here's an up-close look of his cute face. He has orange and yellow eyes. And so I thought today, maybe it'll be fun to make one for Dragon Bug. So let's go ahead and start. So we are going to start by penciling in some lines so that we know where to paint. And I've gone ahead and made a little paper template here so that the right side and the left side match. What I found is that it's very difficult to get the left side and right sides matching by doing a free sketch. 
Alright, so the sketch is done and it looks a little bit funny right now, but that's because we need to trim these two pieces off. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to score the cardboard. Be very careful here because the X-Acto knife is very, very sharp and you could easily cut yourself. But this cardboard is very thick, so it's hard for scissors to cut without scoring it first. Now with scissors, we're going to cut these pieces out. This section is still a little tricky, but it's easier because we've already scored it. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to finish the job. So right now, I'm not too happy with the shape of the nose section. So I think what we're going to do is actually trim it upwards. So that way we have this piece out. And we also want to round off the sides of the mask. Let's draw in her dots. Alright, so here is the mask so far. Let's go ahead and start painting. For the colors today, I'm going to be using True Red, Bright Gold, and Black. Let's go ahead and start with the red. So Dragon Bug is created with a combination of two different Miraculouses. Do you know what they are? So here's today's trivia question. What are the two Miraculouses used to create Dragon Bug? If you know the answer, comment down below. And I'll let you know if you're right at the end of this video. Next, we're going to paint the gold section. And now the black. Okay, so the mask is mostly done and I think it looks really good. So for the black dots, I want to add some black jewel square glitters. So let's get some Mod Podge on here. Nice thick layer. And add the glitter. On the gold part, let's add some gold flakes. So here's the answer to today's trivia question. What are the two Miraculouses used to create Dragon Bug? And the answer is the Ladybug Miraculous and the Dragon Miraculous. Did you get it right? If you did, comment down below. I got it. Alright everyone, and we are done. So here is Ladybug's mask all completed. We added some confetti up here and also some gold flakes along the sides. And now we have three of them. So over here on the left side we have Ryuko. And over here on the right side we have Lady Dragon's mask. And of course we have our newest one. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!